friends, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I am currently uploading multiple times a week. A little bit about me. If you are new around here, I have been a part-time reseller for 10 years. Every time I say that in an intro, I'm like, dang girl, you are getting older. Um, I've been reselling on eBay for 10 years, Poshmark, Amazon, and ThreadUp for a year. I have two other channels if you're interested. I have a vlog channel, which is going to soon be featuring a lot of mommy content because i got this baby bump here. <laughs> so if you're into like life vlogs, baby vlogs, that's still wild to say that. That'll be coming soon and all that stuff. Vlog channel linked down below. I also have a beauty channel, which I linked down below. Let's talk about one of my favorite platforms right now, ThreadUp. If I were ranking platforms, number one would be Amazon. Amazon is doing great for me right now. Number two would probably be, I hate to put ThreadUp above eBay, but I just love the simplicity of shipping something to ThreadUp, something, to thread up, something I can't talk, something to ThreadUp, they photograph it, they list it, they do customer service. I think ThreadUp and eBay are number two, and then Poshmark is like way down here. <laughs> I crap on Poshmark so much. I'm so sorry, guys. If you love Poshmark, that's great for you. It is my least favorite platform to sell on. If you want to know why, I will link the video down below titled Why Poshmark Sucks. So, if you are new to ThreadUp, I have two big bags here. If you don't know what ThreadUp is, you want to learn how to sell on ThreadUp, you want to learn how to make more money on ThreadUp, I've done about eight videos on it. I will link it down below. Today we have two bags of either rejects, meaning I sent it to them to sell and they're like, nay, nay, girlfriend, we don't want that. Or um, I sent it to them to sell, they took it, and then it didn't sell within the allotted 60 to 90 day time frame. I will tell you which is which, and what do I do with these things, you might ask? I send them right back to ThreadUp. And I just keep sending them, because if you didn't know, they have, the last time I checked, over 500 different people that go through these boxes. So what someone may say no to, someone else might say yes to. So I'll leave a link to my ThreadUp playlist down below and you can check them out. I literally did a video walking you A to Z on how to sell on ThreadUp. And Taylor size zero, this was a reject, which I was really surprised about because they take like 90% of the Ann Taylor I send them. Sometimes you guys will tell me and you'll be like, oh, Nikki, I don't know if you noticed, but there was like a stain on that shirt because the light really like illuminates that stuff. So I'm trying to see if like I see any stains or anything. It's not missing a button. I don't know. It's weird. So I already told you this is all going back, but yeah, I don't know why they didn't take that. Maybe they're just done taking career wear. This is motherhood maternity. Their sizing is wild. This is a PXS. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it's some type of like extra small. I don't always pick up maternity clothing, but ThreadUp usually takes it and I usually make about like 10 to $20 profit. So if I find it, I only buy it if I find it at the bins, meaning I'm paying less than $2 for it if I find it on dollar day. And I don't know why they didn't take these. I think they're not taking a lot of, a lot of like workwear style stuff because as you can imagine, I don't think a lot of people are still going into the office and those kind of look like work pants, so maybe that's why, but we'll try again. Rock Republic, this is a brand that actually sells pretty well for me, so I'm gonna send these one more time and if they don't take them, I'll just sell it. They do very well for me on eBay. Um, what size are these? Size 14R and it's the Style Tanner. I just sent these because I've never, this was my first time sending Rock the Public to them, so I'll send it again. You guys know, jeans are my least favorite to, um, to photograph. I'm pretty sure these are men's. I don't know why I sent these to them. Yeah, these are men's. This is Unique Glow. Um, I love, this is one of my like bread and butter brands. I just said in another video I just filmed in a thrift haul. Like how I was saying, it's very odd that Fashion Nova, especially on Poshmark, brings so much like traffic to my closet and usually sells really fast. This brand is another brand that will usually sell really fast for me on Poshmark and eBay and brings a lot of watchers and likers. So I don't think I realized that these were men's. As of right now, ThreadUp doesn't take men's clothing. I don't know why, but I don't think I realized those were men's. Oh, this box is coming back to me. I sent them... Well, no, 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 this is Kate Spade. I thought this was a Ralph Lauren shirt. 
why did they not take this? It's a Kate Spade, um, Broom Street, New York, size medium dress. It is missing the belt, but I, Kate Spade does really well for me on thread up. Um, I'm doing a video on brands that sell for over, I don't know if I want to title it $50 or $100 on thread up, but oh, here comes Coco. Hello, Mr. Coco. Poor guy, he's been having a lot of allergies, so he keeps biting himself. You want to say hi? Come on. You guys don't get to see Mr. Coco very often. What's going on, Chubbs? I call him Chubbs because he's a 20 pound Shih Tzu. And if you know Shih Tzus, they ain't supposed to weigh 20 pounds. He gives me a hug. I've shown you guys this on the beauty channel. Can I have a hug? Oh, did you guys see that? People think I'm insane when I say my dog hugs me. Look, he knows the word hug. Do you love your mommy? Oh, you're gonna be a good big brother. He's so sweet. You guys, I swear that was a hug. Comment down below if you think I'm insane because I tell some of my friends and coworkers, I'm like, my dog hugs me. And they're like, okay, you're one of those psycho dog ladies. Sure, your dog hugs you. That was on camera. I'm pretty damn sure that was a hug. Maybe it's stained. What am I missing? Because like 99% of the Kate Spade I send them, they take and it sells really quickly. I feel like a lot of times the stuff that I think they'll take for sure, they're not taking because I'm missing a flaw. I know it's missing the belt, but so what? This is still cute, I'd wear it. I don't see anything. If you see anything on the camera, let me know. Um, uh, Zara jeans, size zero. Zara does well for me on thread up. It doesn't net me the most profit, but I got these from Dollar Day, Goodwill, they cost me a dollar, and I could probably easily make 10 to $15 profit. My business model on thread up right now is to send them as much as possible. And if I can net a minimum of $10 profit, I'm happy with that because all I have to do is source put it in a box and they do everything else. Now, of course I wanna send them higher end items and I'm starting to do that. I actually did a pretty big haul from, of things from the Nordstrom Rack. They're having a huge sale right now. So I send them higher end items things too, but I also don't mind sending them these bread and butter items. So I'll send that back. This is, now I remember, this is the bag of rejects. Torrid denim, size 20, regular. I've sold so many pieces of Torrid on thread up and they sell pretty quickly so I don't know why they didn't take those but you guys know I actually wore this in a video this is express size medium I don't pick up a lot of express even to send to thread up just because it doesn't sell for that much a couple of brands no matter how affordable they are I'm just not really picking them up anymore forever 21 H&M and express I can't give them away on Poshmark and eBay. They sell like crap on ThreadUp usually. So, I mean, unless it's really unique or it's new with tags, I'm probably not picking those up. This stuff was cute. This person going through this was high. <laughs> I'm so bad. This is a mustard seed jumper and I just saw this and I was like, I would completely wear this. Not a jumper, a pantsuit. And you can, um, tie it like it ties it's really unique it ties around the booby area it's gonna be hard to show and you can tie it like that like you can tie it many different ways but i don't know why they didn't take this and i don't want to sell it because i don't use a dress form so i feel like unless i could find a stock photo that wouldn't really look good with me photographing it lane bryant size 18 r i guess that's just 18 regular pants uh jeans no. What is this? Oh, I remember liking this shirt. Why didn't they take this? I think this is Chico's. Yeah, I showed this to you guys recently. You guys, I have been sending all of my boxes with expedited shipping, girlfriend. It is worth the $16.99. I have boxes that they received in June that they are not processing, it says, until October. Time is money, friends. I send boxes with expedited shipping. It gets to them within like four or five days. I'm in Los Angeles and it goes to the Arizona location. It gets to them within four or five days. I always do FedEx. And then by the time they get it, it'll process anywhere from two to five days later. It is worth it, friends. So the whole process is taking like 14 days or less. 
I highly recommend expedited shipping. I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to doing, even if they pick things up, I'm always gonna do expedited. Um, so I was all that to say, like I just recently sent this to them. This box is coming back to me and I thought this was really cute and it's weird. Like I said, they take almost all the Chico's I send them. And what's crazy you guys is Chico's marks up pretty, like I've never actually been into a Chico store. I've seen them, but from what, from doing my research as a reseller, it's one of the things I love about it is that I didn't realize Chico's is not affordable. Like retail it's not high-end, but it's not like Walmart pricing. Like brand new, this was probably like 40 or 50 bucks for this t-shirt. So they mark it up, um, it sells pretty well there. So I don't know why they didn't take that. And I like the coloring. If it wasn't so big, I would actually film in it. And this is a paper crane shirt. You guys, this is so soft. I don't know what material this is, but it feels like it's cashmere and silk. It's polyester. Isn't polyester so versatile? I mean, I know people crap on it, but sometimes it just feels like it really psychs you out. And I'm pretty good at just being able to touch things and be like, oh, that's cashmere. I thought I was. Anyways, this is really cute too. It's just a size small, so I'll send that back. I'm wondering if I wanna film in this shirt first. <laughs> you guys, I film so much that I need things to like I, a lot of the times before I sell things, I'll film in it. Mm, no, it's just, I think it would be too ill fitting on me just cause it's kind of big. All right, next bag. So those were all rejects. I think, I think this is reclaims. No, these are some rejects too. Why did they not take this shirt? I found like five 100% silk and tailor shirts um, on dollar day. And these you guys retail for a lot. Like, I looked it up. I think it's like $95 new. I might actually keep this. Oh, I see why. There's some, like, signs of wear on the back. This is, says it's a size 6. I might just keep this. This feels so nice, and it's my favorite. Well, it looks more pink, but in real life, it looks more purple. Purple's my favorite color. I'm going to try to send it one more time. If they don't take it, there were some signs of wear on the back. You know how silk can sometimes kind of look stretched out? If they don't take it, I'm keeping that. I wanted to keep them when I saw them at the thrift store. Um, Neiman Marcus 100% silk tank. Oh my gosh, this is cute. If they don't take this, I'm keeping this. This is, I don't know if it's a nightgown. I feel like you could wear this as a nightgown or you could just wear it as a tank. And it feels lovely and it's my favorite color. Oh, it's so hard not to keep these things. I don't know why they didn't keep this. I feel like this is so cute for summer. Trina Turk, bright orange shirt. I'm gonna film in this before I send it back. What size is it? Oh, maybe they didn't take it because it's missing a size tag. Well, whatever. Let's put that to the side. I'm gonna film in that. Rag and blown shorts. I picked these up on Dollar Day. Super cute, size four. I mean, they look like they've been worn, but they're still in really good condition. I can't believe I used to be a size four. I'm like, how the hell? I can't even imagine fitting in that right now. Nasty gal, size extra small. The tag is kind of falling off, but it's an extra small, kind of like tunic shirt. You can see like how it, I don't know, what do you call that, a shark bite? Is that the shark bite hemline? I think so. Cute. I'm really surprised they didn't take this stuff. A lot of this stuff in here is cute. And a lot of this stuff is stuff from brands that they always take from me. BCBG Max Azria, size extra small, kind of a career wear, black blazer, super cute. Um, they take BCBG from me all the time. But like I said, I don't think career wear is doing that well right now. So I'm trying not to pick it up as much. Oh, I didn't tell you guys that. I told the other video that. You guys, I lose track. Career wear, I'm finding it so much in all of my thrift stores, and you guys can probably guess why. I just think a lot of people aren't working in the office and they're just donating that stuff. So I'm kind of conflicted because I'm like, should I pick this stuff up when I'm finding it for a dollar and just hold on to it until like everybody goes back to work? Because I'm thinking, I mean, eventually we'll go back to work, right? Or maybe we won't. I don't know. It's weird times we live in. I feel like a lot of companies are going to realize, like, what do we need this office space for? We managed fine during the pandemic. Everybody's working from home. 
I wonder if like some companies are just gonna decide to just have everyone stay at home. Like my company, the offices are open, but it's optional. You don't have to go in. And from what my admin has told me, she said that like two people go in the office like once a week and that's it. Like the office is, comp it's like a ghost town. So I don't know, I'm just wondering what will happen. I just threw these in as a test. Sometimes I know Thread Up doesn't take men's clothing, but I'm just like, I just wanna see if they're gonna take it because it's weird. They sell men's goodie boxes, but Rock Republic jeans, that's okay. I'll sell these on eBay. Rock Republic does really well for me, especially if the um, if there's any like decor, <laughs> decor, that's not what I'm, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. You know, stuff on the back, the more intricate, the better. I'll sell that on eBay. Or Poshmark it does well both both places. Nasty gal, why did they not take this? This is so cute. If this was my size, I would keep it. I love a good tube top. I feel like tube tops are so underrated. I've been rocking tube tops since even when people would say they were like outdated. Like five years ago, I would wear tube tops and my friends would be like, is this the 90s? And I would be like, no, I just love a good tube top. But it's more of like an off the shoulder tube top vibe. I'm really shocked they didn't take some of this stuff. We shall try again though. We shall try again. Eli Tahari, Eli Tahari, whatever. This is so cute. It's kind of like a snake skin vibe. Button up shirt. They've taken that brand from me many times before. This is J. Crew size small, kind of like a chambray. No, not really. Just like a light blue button up shirt. This is a size small. I could fit this right now. <laughs> I want to keep everything. A lot of this stuff is cute. And Taylor Loft, 100% silk. Uh, I thought it was a skirt. Pants, you guys, these feel so soft. They kind of sound like they don't feel soft. <laughs> like when I touched this, I did not feel silk. And then when I looked at the tag, I was like, what? So that's everything. I'm literally going to stop filming this video, put all this stuff in a box and ship it off. I ship multiple boxes at a time. Um, I don't do it. Actually, I have my boyfriend do it. <laughs> he has a big truck. If you've seen the um, video where I tell him I'm pregnant, you've seen his truck. He's a big truck, so he takes it for me. So I try to do like five boxes at a time because that way they all get sent together. They usually all get processed within the same time frame. And then like any rejects I get or reclaims I have to do, I can kind of get them around the same time frame. It just makes everything so much simpler, which is a little thread up tip for me to you. I feel like I should do more thread up tips videos. Honestly, you guys, I was thinking I could do like a thread up 2021 course, but then I'm like, maybe I'll just put it on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. For those of you that don't know, I used to be a college professor. Can you believe it? Silly, goofy Nikki was actually a college professor. I did it for three years after I got my master's degree and I really do like teaching, so I don't know. Anyways, just thoughts that run through my head. If you haven't seen my most recent video, you can check it out right here.